Hello guys, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the finals is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. So just go over here in the start, click on the power icon, so restart icon. Click on the power icon over here and go for the restart. Once the restart is done, just try launch the game and that will be working fine. And this is what we have to do as the first and foremost step. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So most of us launch the game from here itself, that means from the Steam. So that is why we are having many issues. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game. We need to navigate to the game, right click, go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the browse. So that will take you to the installation folder. If you check over here in the background, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam amps, common, the final, latest. So just launch the game from here. So we need to launch the game from the application and that will be working fine because it worked for many of the users so we can run the game from here. And also you can try two more steps which will be uh, most probably helping guys out. That is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties, compatibility. Make sure you have to mark run this game as an administrator. That is very important and that is the first one. And also you have to make sure that you have run the game in the compatibility mode. From the compatibility mode, we can either try for Windows 8 and go for apply and go for OK or you can set this to Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK as well. So in my case, which I am suggesting you that most probably when you try this up, when you are running the game, the compatibility mode in Windows 7 will be working in most cases so you can try this out and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to Make sure we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So which is very important because I don't know how but for the users who are facing the issue such as not launching or crashing it worked for them. So just press the Alt and Tab from the keyboard and just click on the or hit on the play button and that will be working fine. Next one we have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. So just go over here in the search we have to navigate to the settings. From here go to time and language go for date and time. Make sure the time, time zone and everything should be correct. This is very important and we have to set this up. Just go back, go to the language and region. From here we have to select this one and make sure that you have selected the country according to your geography. Which is very important. So uh, I found this from the Reddit so you can try this out. It worked for many users because uh, you know it helped them so you can set the location according to your geography and once you set everything up just go over here and try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one we have to delete the saved game file. Just go over here in the file explorer and we have to navigate to this PC. Go to documents and over here will be able to find the folder. When you start playing the game and saving each level. So if you are not able to find the folder here just go to the my games folder and if you find the folder even that is the finals folder just delete the final solder and keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine. Just delete it. Once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search we have to navigate to the control panel. Go for system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to finals. So uh, most probably the finals will be here, just keep scrolling down and navigate to the finals and as you can see both the finals is already added. Make sure the private and public both has to be selected and the finals play test both the private and public has to be selected. If the game is not here we can add it by default so just click on the change settings, go for allow another app, go for browse. Now go for this PC, navigate to local disk C, go to program file x86. Go for Steam over here and navigate to Steam Amps. Now from here we have to navigate to the common. Now from here we, what we need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to the finals, playtest and select the game. Go for open and add it. I am getting the error because it is already added. So once you add the game make sure the private and public both has to be marked. 
once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the usb devices because you know we might be connected with multiple monitors we might be connected with multiple controllers we might be connected with a lot of things so if that is the case we have to unplug everything and once you unplug everything we just need to try launch the game and you have to see the most probably they should be completely working out or else try the next step that is all about we have to perform a clean boot just go over here in the search search for system configuration go for services and we have to go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok and once you go for ok just go for restart the users who are watching this have to go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit without restart and once afterwards you have to try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click go to the properties make sure the enable the steam overlay this should be turned off try launch the game if that is not working we have to give the commands in the launch option like this and the first command is we have to give the command dx11 is the first command give the dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 so either the dx11 will be working or we have to try with dx12 and that will be working fine as well you can try either the any one of the thing and that will be working fine once afterwards if it's still if you are having the issue we can try with the next step that is all about we have to uh, you know uh, we just need to close all the overlay application which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue just go over here in the start right click we have to go to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so all these things are actually utilizing the performance that is why we are having the crashing issue so we need to remove the unwanted things for example discord river tuner msa afterburner everything should be removed and once you remove everything that will be working fine because it is a very important step because it worked for many users so you can try this out as well just remove the unwanted things and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game as well next one we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search search for graphics settings now from here we just need to go there and we just need to go over here and we have to add the game here i have already added the game so just navigate to the installation folder to add the game once the game is added just click on this one go for option and we have to set this to let windows decide so we have to change this to high performance go for save and we have to close everything and once afterwards try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search we have to go for view advanced system setting go to the advanced go for settings once again advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk c and we have to go for custom size set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we just need to go over here and we need to find a calculator so just type your ram so ram of my computer is 32 gb and i have to multiply it with a constant value 1024 and multiply with a constant value 1.5 because 1.5 times the total ram is the initial size copy this and we have to paste it next one multiply 32 gb multiplied it, it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it set every value ok over here and once afterwards just go over here and try launch the game next one is all about we have to run the game on uh, i mean we have to update the graphics card so just go over here i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia as well as to the amd the NVIDIA users has to go over here and select everything like your product type, product series should be selected, product everything should be selected. So you have to choose it according to your Windows configuration. So once you set this up, just go for start search and once you go for start search, what happens is you can see the driver version is 545.92. That is the uh, latest version which is released on October 26. So just download this, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here and select every details over here and go for submit. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. Install a restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. So if you're on the Microsoft Visual C++, we just need to go over here and download this one. So over here, if the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one. Install a restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to settings. 
Now go for Windows update and from here we have to make sure the Windows is up to date which is very important. Once afterwards if you are still having the issue, we just need to try two very important steps that we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back. Just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on local disk C. You have to try a new local disk C and that a new local disk and that will be working fine. So last and the least step that is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game right click, go to the properties, install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So this won't take much time. So uh, you know this is very important. So these are some of the reasons why we are having the crashing issue. So if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, we'll be having the issue. So just, uh, you know, we have to do like this and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these possible workarounds can be done and I hope this video is helpful and also keep in mind you can try these some of the basic steps. This will be helping in most cases because apart from this, you can if you any steps work it for you. If that is missed from our side, you can let us know in the comment section. So we will be adding the steps in the coming video. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.